Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my YouTube channel today. It's Melinda Sweetman here with you with a um, with a share for the Tracy Reed design team with the Over the Moon collection which is February's brand new collection. I am creating these two shaker cards today and we are playing with AI prompts and mine was um, used a galaxy background with heart shaped heart balloon shaped um, photos and I've kind of gone a little bit off track but kind of not. I'm working with this mason jar in Silhouette Studio software. Um, so the mason jar is from the embellishment, the digital embellishments. I've dragged and dropped that into my Silhouette Studio. I have then gone into the 4x6 pattern papers and dropped this um, star print into that mason jar and that is going to work as my card front. I've then copied that cut file twice. I have flipped one horizontally, vertically, so I've got one upside down and one the right way up. You can see I have just overlapped those two top lines and I have welded them together and through the middle I have drawn a dotted line which is going to form my crease for my card. I'm going to cut this on some uh, thick white cardstock for my card base. I realized at this point that I've still got these little holes here for where the wires go around so I just went in and um, if you double click onto the cut lines you get the points and you can edit the points. So I got rid of those. I'm only having them on the shape of the mason jar and I'm just going in here and popping on like what the different pieces are. So I've got the card base on the right hand side which is the two that are welded together. Then I've got the card front at the top which I'm going to do a print and cut on. And then this extra piece here that I have filled um, with transparent background is going to be the back of my card. Um, and you will see why in just a minute. So they're the pieces that I'm going to print and cut. And here they are all done. So I did pull in a piece of vellum here is my card. I'm really impressed with how this all came together. Um, there is my pattern paper. Here is the transparency that I cut. So obviously I did also um, print that particular embellishment onto a transparency and had my cameo cut the mason jar shape out. And it fits perfectly. And then I've grabbed some vellum which is going to go behind my transparent piece um, and I'm going to make a shaker pocket with that but for now I'm working on my blue mason jar here. Uh, I did show the colours that I've matched to this collection that I think work beautifully. I'm using prize ribbon here and I'm just going around the edges with my blending brush adding some interest to the edges uh, and then I come in with some black soot as well just to deepen those up a little bit but I am using a little paint, it's not a paintbrush, a little blending brush just so that I don't, I know what I'm like and, and I way too easily get um, heavy handed and put too much down and then I regret it. So I'm using a little blending brush and then I'm going to come in here with a little bit of faded jeans. Um, I didn't go as far in with the faded jeans that, as I did with the other blue but I really like what I've got there. This is Distress Glaze. I'm just using a domed foam to add a layer of that to this mason jar. Um, what that does is it seal, pretty much seals everything in and kind of makes it water resistant. You couldn't dunk it in water, but like you could splash water on it and the inks won't blend or mix or um, oxidize. So that's why I wanted to use this one. I wanted to add some splatters. Here is my front panel. Uh, you can see I've stitched most of the way around that with just some white thread. Um, and so this is going to be a relatively flat shaker pocket. Um, I pulled in three sequel mixes here. One is silver lining that you can see there from Spiegel Mum Scrap. So I've got a link down below for that store. Um, and then I've got some clear sequins and then I've got the Trinity stamps. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're the most amazing little stars ever. Uh, I've gone back and I have sealed the rest of that pocket up. And I'm just going to show you here. 
Um, just to make sure that those threads don't come loose, I just go in with some of my Nuvo glue uh, and add that to the ends of the threads so that that uh, seals it up and it's not going to come undone at any point because, you know, the last thing I want is sequins all over my house. This is actually my husband's Valentine's Day card. Um, and so now my front pocket is almost ready to go. I am adding my splatters here. I love this stuff. It is so awesome. If you've ever used one of those shimmer brush pens, it's similar to that, except it's in a spray. It's so cool. I love it. <clears throat> so while I was designing in Silhouette, um, in Silhouette Studio, I also came up with a second idea because I did print a whole A4 sheet of transparency paper. I did this one as the size for a card front and <clears throat> um, you'll see here when I glue it down it is off-centered I don't know how that happened but that's okay I'm gonna fix it up in a minute I have used the B mine and I think that is also from the embellishments as well as the I love you a little flag it's like it's one of the little glitter ones from the embellishments the digital embellishments um, and I've kind of got that sticking up from behind which is super cute um, I cut a silver stitched frame I've just used two of my uh, stitched rectangle dies to cut that frame there to create my shaker card uh, and I'm just using some thin foam strips here making sure that I butt all of those edges up to one another so I have no loose sequins no escaping sequins and I'm going to pop that aside while I work on my card front. I did originally think I was going to put a pattern paper behind here but I ended up going with some clouds. Um, I was working with my AI prompt um, and I kind of went how how else can I bring like a galaxy background into this. This obviously isn't exactly a galaxy background uh, but it is clouds which I was like clouds, galaxy, yep that works so I'm running with that and I do also add um, one of the heart balloon embellishments as well which I think ticks the use heart shaped photos as heart shaped balloon photos so yeah just just stretched it a little bit this time <laughs> last AI prompt I kind of really stretched it um, this time I think it's pretty obvious that I have stuck pretty closely to what um, what AI prompted. So I'm just using the different colours there that I have um, paired with this collection and adding like a layer of each colour. I'm going to add some of this beautiful spray. I wasn't sure exactly how it would spray, so I did grab a piece of scrap and test it out. I'm going to sprinkle splatters all over that as well. And there it is finished and my other pocket and here is my mason jar I wanted to add some more sparkle here so I've got some liquid glue and I've got these amazing stars I'm just gonna um, I think I did five at a time but it was really hard to find my glue spot sometimes so you've been warned if you try to do the same thing but look at that shine I love them so much all right uh, all of my bits are pretty much done now. I can start actually assembling my cards. So card base with my blue galaxy background, which I'm just going to center. Perfect. Um, next, I'm going to trim down. So this is all dry. I think this is the next day. Um, trim off my threads and then trim out my mason jar here. And that is then ready to be attached. I do use red line tape on the back of this as well as liquid glue. I don't want it to move anywhere. And then the back piece of the jar is just so you can't see where that flap goes over the top of the card. Uh, make sure you do hop along. So this is part of the Instagram hop uh, where we have all been given different prompts that AI has given us. Um, and I really love seeing uh, if I'm the only one that goes a bit rogue with the prompt or how everyone else interprets it, it's super fun. Uh, there will be a link in the description box below. 
uh, make sure you go check me out on Instagram. I am so, so, so close to 1,000 uh, followers on Instagram. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to pop over and hit that follow button. I am M underscore Sweetman at Instagram. Um, I am I am so, so close. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, uh, so you can see here I am... Uh, building this card. Uh, like I said earlier, my sentiment ended up being shifted over a little bit and I thought, you know what, a little red balloon will be perfect here. And then I've got the three spots of red, so the N, the E, and then the heart. And this is not, that is not from the digital, that is not from the digital embellishments. That is one of the alphabets that I've used. So you get the five colours, which is super cool. The aqua, the red, the dark blue, the grey, and the light blue. Um, which, yeah, super cool. And I just pulled in the different colours that I wanted to play with and kind of played with them and pulled some to the front, pushed some to the back. And I really love how that turned out. Um, adding my sequins. I don't think I add any of the stars to this one. Now... I don't know what I did, but somehow my silver frame is not square. I don't think anyone will notice. Um, I think I might give this to my best friend um, and tell her that I love her and she has to be my best friend forever, whether she wants to or not. <laughs> um, so I kind of struggle a little bit with that, but I make it work and I don't think it fails me. Everything shakes round, nothing's getting stuck. I did. Uh, use my anti-study powder tool on the inside of that um, transparency as well just to make sure nothing stuck. I did also go around the inside edges of the tape before I pulled the backing off so that none of the sequins stuck to that. Just finishing this card off here. So over the strings of those balloons that go down to their envelope, I'm just adding my little sentiment which says, our story is my fave, which I thought was perfect. And um, I love, I really love this card. Look, it even stands up. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Um, I do love these shaped cards and sometimes struggle with them. Um, sometimes I make things harder than they need to be. Uh, but I love how this turned out. I, and an extra bonus card. So I hope that you've enjoyed, um, enjoyed this today. Like I said, make sure you hop along on Instagram. If you have any questions, please make sure you drop them below. Um, in the meantime, if you don't already, please hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to join me. As always, thank you ever so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. And I'll see you in my next Christmas video.